31 year old woman in Ireland uh, died after she had a miscarriage and doctors refused to terminate the pregnancy. Uh, when she was about 17 weeks pregnant, she went into the hospital and complained about severe back pain and the doctors realized that she was miscarrying. So she started asking them uh, for an abortion because the pain was excruciating. However, uh, the fetus allegedly still had a heartbeat and uh, the doctors told her that they would not uh, abort because they only abort in cases where the woman's life is in danger. Um, so they, they denied her the abortion. A uh, few days later, uh, she died from something known as uh, septicemia and uh, it was a E. coli uh, infection that she had and you know she left behind a husband and they're devastated and the fact that doctors denied her this abortion it is just ridiculous it's ludicrous yeah and this is the problem when we make decisions like this uh, that are not based on, on logic or reason or even honestly humanity I mean people say they do this for morality. Is this morality? Is this moral? This is the most immoral thing I've ever heard. Doctor saying that they won't operate when she obviously needed it. She was vomiting throughout the whole day. She was in extreme pain. Obviously, there was she something incredibly pain wrong. In fact, in the beginning, she wanted to keep the baby, right? Of course, of course. But then by the end, the baby wasn't going to survive anyway. She asked for an abortion multiple times. I mean, she was desperate. At one point, um, she was fully dilated. Um, and, and the miscarriage, she was in the process of having a miscarriage and she asked for them to, you know, ab abort, you know, get, get this out of my body. Um, and, and the doctors told her it'll only take a few minutes, just, you know, just wait it out. Um, and she was, you know, leaking amniotic fluid. It was, I mean, she was in horrible condition and they still denied what she had asked for. And uh, her husband says that doctors told her, um, I'm sorry, the doctor said that, you know, this is a Catholic hospital. And, and that's what the law is. And laws in Ireland, that's the law. Yeah. Um, and uh, the husband says, I am neither Irish nor Catholic, but they said there was nothing they could do. So, so that's exactly what's wrong with this. Why are you putting your morality on me? If they did this to my wife, I would be furious. I'm furious, and it isn't my wife. I, why do I have to listen to your insane rules from your religious text when I'm not even that religion? Well, how can you have your religion rule us all? It's, that's what Saudi Arabia would do. For Western democracies to still believe in that is just, it's barbarism when you see the actual effects of it. You know, oftentimes when we talk about extremism, we talk about countries in the Middle East, but when you look at some of the laws that Ireland has when it comes to contraception and when it comes to uh, abortion, you realize just how religious they really are. For instance, it wasn't until 1985 that Ireland allowed uh, people over the age of 18 to purchase condoms without a prescription. In fact, <laughs> condoms were banned completely until about 1979. Um, so, and, and recently, well, relatively recently, in 2005, three women uh, filed a lawsuit against Ireland because they had to travel out of the country to receive an abortion. So understand, because that sounds really confusing. Are they supposed to give the abortion or are they not if the life is in danger, as it was in this case that we started talking about? Well, that's the problem. According to their constitution, abortion is flat out illegal. But in 1992, a Supreme Court ruled that uh, it could be legalized for a situation when the woman's life is at risk if you continue the pregnancy. The problem is nobody knows how to interpret that. That's, for, that's conflicting, and so some hospitals say, well, no, we're not gonna do the abortion no matter what. Some hospitals do. That's no way to run a country. And that not only is that no way to run a country, that goes completely against your pro-life stance because women are dying as a result of you refusing to terminate a, a pregnancy. You know, a, a, a fetus that is not viable Right, a fetus that isn't even going to survive, you know. Like in this case, they know that she is going through a miscarriage, so you're not saving anyone's life in this situation. But in this case, I think the doctors were so afraid of breaking the law that they decided to play it safe and just not do anything about it. I'm going to go further. I think uh, fundamentalist religious people that take it to this kind of extreme are the most immoral people uh, in the world, and so it's not. Like, oh, hey, religion, it's morality, or, or they're just the same as everybody else. No, 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 they're not the same as everybody else. 
when you take stupid laws that don't make any sense, that aren't even in your Bible, it doesn't even say you shouldn't have an abortion in your Bible, and then you apply it to everybody, whether they are in your religion or they're not in your religion, whether they agree or they don't agree, and then some people die because of it, that's as immoral an act as you could possibly do. And why? Because no, 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 some Emperor Constantine 1600 years ago made a political document that he said Jesus might have said, or Jesus' friends might have said 400 years before that. This is so stupid. How dare you? How dare you let her die like that? And now we have these Neanderthals in America that want to take us back to these dark ages. Thousands of bills across the country trying to walk back uh, reproductive rights. I can't believe we're having this conversation, and so many states, they're winning it. I'm so sick of people's religion, man. I'm so sick of it. And constantly, no, you have to do my religion. You have to do my religion. Fuck off. Why do I have to do your religion? I don't. I don't believe your religion. I don't believe it. Get it through your thick skull. I don't give a shit about it. I don't care if it's fundamentalist Christianity, fundamentalist Islam, fundamentalist anything. It's voodoo. I don't give a shit. You're not going to run my life based on your dumbass beliefs. If you come with logic and reason and we have a conversation about, hey, okay, here's a reasonable basis for this law. Okay, fine. Then we we'll talk about it. But if you come to me, my sky god, I think 2,000 years ago, told a fucking bush and he talked to fucking Moses. And then he said, well, there is a seed in your body. And I then, then some dumbass pope interpreted that 1,500 years ago as saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this or that. And hence, I'm going to let your wife die. Fuck you. Fundamentalist bullshit.